I challenged myself to improve my performance as much as I possibly can. And by my surprise, I went from 60 FPS to upwards of 300 FPS. That's a 500% increase. Personally, I was blown away by the results, so I'm gonna show you how you can easily do it yourself as well. First of all, in order to increase our performance, we can change a few game settings for Roblox. So go to your settings and over here you'll see graphics quality. First, make sure that your graphics mode is on manual instead of automatic and then set it to the lowest set the graphics quality to the lowest setting. That was basically the only in-game setting that you can change in order to increase your performance. I'll also show you a program that you can download for free in order to boost your performance immensely. But how do we actually know that our performance has increased? Well, hold shift and then press F5 on your keyboard. This shortcut will show us this very intimidating pop-up on our screen. This pop-up will give us a closer look in what's going on behind the scenes. Of course, the only thing we are really gonna look at is the frames per second on top. Just for reference, this is what 30 FPS looks like. This is what 20 FPS looks like. And you can already tell it looks much worse. And this is what 10 FPS looks like. And I don't even think I have to explain what difference this makes. All right, now let's say you've watched this entire tutorial and your FPS is maxed out at 60. It does not go above that. Well, what I'm about to show you will solve that issue and give you the biggest performance boost out of anything in this list. I put a link in the description to something that is called a Roblox FPS unlocker. As far as I know, it's safe to download because I've heard that even Roblox staff uses this occasionally during events. When you get on this page, click either the 64-bit or the 32-bit version. Just really depends on what works for you. Then after you've opened the file, all you have to click is this one file that's in here. But before doing so, make sure you have Roblox running. It's difficult to notice whether it worked because the pop-up will show up very shortly. Usually if it works, you'll see this settings file show up in the folder. But the only way to really check if it worked is to go to Roblox and see for yourselves. Oh my goodness, look at that. So I already doubled my FPS from 60 to 120 and I'm still on the highest graphics quality. So I wonder what will happen if I go to the lowest graphics quality. All right, so I'm currently on the lowest quality and as you can see, my FPS just skyrocketed. I think after a few more tricks, we might even be able to get it to 300 FPS, which would be like a 500% increase. We're still not there yet, but there's a few things we can do in order to solve that. So the first thing we can do is go to our temp folder by typing percentage temp percentage and you'll see it over here. And in here we can order this by size by clicking on size over here. Now you can just delete a few files that you don't really need. I also recommend basically deleting every folder that starts with RAR since those usually use a lot of disk space. When you've done that, we can also navigate to local app um. <clears throat> uh, percentage local app data percentage slash roblox slash versions afterwards just find the file which contains roblox player beta.exe then go to the platform content directory pc then textures then delete every single file except for studs and uh, wang index. I don't know what that file is for, but yeah, just leave it there. Now, if you join a Roblox game, you might notice a slight FPS increase, but also that obviously all the textures are gone. This has a few pretty interesting use cases, such as that it looks really cool with shaders on. Speaking of which, these tips will obviously also help you to run shaders better. So go to roshade.com and try it out for yourself and let me know in the comments whether it works. Next up, some Roblox Roblox games may have graphic settings of their own, so be sure to check whether the game you're playing has that. I know that, for example, Arsenal and Bloxburg has options for that, but uh, yeah, for Bloxburg, you just have to get through 50 different pop-ups <laughs> in order to change your quality. Next up, we can open our task manager on Windows in order to close a few processes that are running. One way to describe processes are basically as programs that are currently running and they're all screaming for a piece of the pie that is your computer's resources. So by closing a few of them, more resources are reserved for Roblox, which will in turn, of course, increase our performance. You can also solve this issue by simply restarting your computer, although it will take longer, of course. Speaking of hardware, there are a few things that I suggest 
suggest getting if you want to play Roblox with decent FPS. There's two parts of a computer that you should really consider when trying to increase your performance, which is your graphics card and your CPU. Picking parts for your computer is pretty difficult to look into. So oftentimes it's just simpler and better to get, for example, a laptop that already fits all of the specifications. Now this video won't be about like hardware components and all that complex stuff. All I can tell you for sure is that this laptop really gets you a good amount of FPS, even with shaders on. This is the one that I personally use, so I highly recommend it. And there's a link in the description, of course. Another good way to really boost your performance is by using a wired connection instead of a wireless connection. There's usually a part to stick these cables in on almost every computer, I believe. And using a wired connection instead of a wireless one will really give you an advantage and increase your FPS in most cases. In the pop-up that I showed you earlier, getting a wired connection over a wireless one will likely improve the network receive number. This basically increases your FPS. That about sums up the most important things you can do in order to improve your performance. If I missed any good points by any chance, then do let me know, please.